Hi, I'm Carrie Wilbanks. Let's go find some adventure. I've burnt kisses. Hi guys, it's me, Carrie Wilbanks, here in Oregon's Willamette Valley, getting ready to show you some of my favorite things to do here on a family-friendly vacation. Let's go. We flew directly to Eugene, a pretty city on the banks of the Willamette River at the southern end of the Willamette Valley, just in time for dinner at Tacovor for, yes, you guessed it, tacos. We started with guac, whichever it was all about before eating tacos. Our top picks were the carne asada and the carnitas. After dinner, we checked into the Hyatt Place in the Oakway Center. Here, it's no question the hearty continental breakfast was Everett's favorite part. Mm. With our tummies full from breakfast, we jetted to the Cascades Raptor Center where Everett met up with his cousin who lives in the area. They had a blast pointing out different birds. The Cascades Raptor Center has one of the Pacific Northwest's largest collections of native raptor species with nearly 50 birds of prey and large outdoor aviaries. One of our favorites was Dimitri. He is a Eurasian eagle owl, so not a native species to North America. He's been here at the Raptor Center for about nine years. Everett and Christian could definitely stay here all day, but it's time to get to our next spot. On our way to Corvallis, which is about 45 minutes from Eugene and home to Oregon State University, we stopped at Sky High Brewery, a spot that focuses on lagers and ales, but also makes a notable IPA that TJ was all about. This is our hazy IPA. It's our summer citrus IPA, it's unfiltered, and it's got a really nice orange fresh tone to it. From here, we drove another 15 minutes to Philomath to tour and try on Soft Star shoes. What's neat about our shoes is we handcraft them all here in Oregon to be super healthy for you and your feet. You can come and visit and see the whole process from beginning to end. We cut them out, we sew them, and uh, you walk out with very happy feet. Also in Philomath is the Nectar Creek Meadery. We loved sampling different varieties, but my favorite part by far was the ginger session mead. We also enjoyed playing bags on the sun-soaked patio and trying to get Everett to play, but instead he ended up making his own rules. You got one! You got one! Everett, you got it! For dinner, we went to Gathering Together Farm. The produce comes from the farm and the breads and pastas are all made in-house. Protein sources include grass-fed beef and lamb, as well as free-range eggs and cheeses. Everett's top pick was definitely the wood-fired pizza topped with sausage, potatoes, arugula, and feta. There was not a bite left. The plain plates continued the next morning at Dizzy Hen. Here, I went with a vegan potato hash, which was full of local veggies. The omelets are also a house favorite. The menu changes with the seasons, and we also dug the eclectic farmhouse style. From Philomath, it's just a 30-minute drive to Albany, our next Willamette Valley stop, where you'll find a playful historic town. You want this one? This one looks pretty cool. Albany is home to the historic Albany Carousel and Museum. Volunteers have donated more than 160,000 hours creating this work of art through the carving and painting of its animals. Good thing we had multiple tokens for rides because Everett wanted to ride each animal. Ribbit! Ribbit, Sparky. Go ride, Dada! Go ride, Dada! You'll also find the Albany Art Studio in town, which we quickly discovered was a great way for us to be kids again with ours. To start, you were geared up in a poncho, set loose in a 2,500 foot splatter box under a black light with neon, and then go crazy, painting or splattering the already graffitied walls, or going to work on a canvas with squirt bottles, brushes, and squirt guns. Welcome to Albany Art Studio and the splatter box. If you want to get messy and have creativity unleashed, this is the spot to do it. You see. We had a blast watching Everett in this completely new environment, even though more of the paint made it on his hands than the walls or a canvas. You did it? Let me see. Our final stop was Dundee, to spend the night in an Airstream trailer at the Vintages Trailer Resort, where Everett was quick to make himself at home. The campers are surprisingly comfortable. Inside, you will find a bathroom, kitchen, and a couch we could read Everett bedtime stories from. On site, you will also find a swimming pool and larger fire pits. 
or you can buy a S'mores kit at the general store and a mini one will be delivered to your trailer. Everett, who loves chocolate as much as I do, was in heaven. Afterwards, we put Everett down and TJ and I enjoyed one last Willamette Valley sunset, already dreaming about drafting up a time for a return visit.